Tonight we are proud to launch our brand new community focused Believe in Buffalo initiative. We're not just talking about Buffalo though. Every week we will be on the road highlighting people and projects that make Western New York a place of pride. My friend and co-anchor Jeff Russo is spearheading this new initiative. Tonight he joins us live from Niagara Falls. Hey Jeff. Good evening, Ashley. Yeah, we are so excited to kick off this new community focused initiative. As you mentioned over the coming weeks and months, Believe in Buffalo is really gonna focus in on and celebrate the progress, the projects and the people that are pushing Western New York forward. And tonight we begin right here in Niagara Falls, here on Third Street in Niagara Falls. Now, as we all know, right, the natural beauty and splendor of the falls itself. It attracts more than 9 million visitors from across the globe each and every year. But what about the community and the businesses that surround it? Now, I recently had the opportunity to take a walk and talk tour of this great community with Niagara Falls Mayor Robert Restaino. You may know he's a hometown guy born and raised right here in the Cataract City. Over the years, he's seen businesses shut down, people move away and promises go unfulfilled. But that is the past. And now a new sense of hope and positivity is filling the streets here. Just take a stroll down Third Street and you'll get a true taste of the revival now in the works. So Mayor, we're here on Third Street, a lot of yeah. new stuff here. Yeah, you know, we've engaged some of these apartments that you see on the, on the uh, upper levels, but this is a new restaurant for us, uh, Power City Eatery. Uh, great place. Uh, across the street, you'll see the Gold Bar, uh, another new uh, business downtown. So slowly, this um, part, of, part of town is uh, finding its way back. How do you attract even more businesses to the city? Well, I think, it's, I think success breeds success. So what we have to do is we have to make sure that these new businesses that are opening up, that they, that they speak to the success of being on the street. And uh, once you start doing those kinds of things, other businesses want to be where success is. Um, we know uh, that this street, Third Street, this section, um, gets a lot of traffic too during our tourist season. So the more we can ignite that, um, the more excitement we're going to have along this road. What I'm really hoping for ultimately is that not just uh, the tourist traffic, but also the residents. We need to bring locals back downtown. Downtown has to become their place again. Um, and we've lost a little of that. Now, right now, I want to take you inside one of the restaurants that the mayor was talking about. We're right here inside Power City Eatery that's located on 3rd Street. And the owner is joining us tonight, Mr. Joe Hotchkiss. Thank you so much for taking some time to speak with us. Thank you for having me. Third Street, this business has been here, you said, about five years. What attracted you to this area and, and what's this neighborhood like? Well, it's Niagara Falls. Um, you know, it's a wonder of the world. And that was, uh, you know, the main attraction for opening up a business in this area. Um, there's tourism and uh, this street in particular was uh, <clears throat> Just uh, there's already some established businesses, and uh, we were just um, lucky to be so close to the falls. What, what kind of pers what kind of changes have you seen here on Third Street in the neighborhood since we've been here? Um, we've had a couple of restaurants open up, uh, one across the street. Uh, we've got um, a liquor store and a, a pizzeria right up the street. We have a wine bar, and uh, Ashker's was going in across the street as well. What would you tell people that they may not know something special about Niagara Falls in this neighborhood that may surprise people? I just think that the, the residents are, are very resilient and not ready to give up on the falls. And that gives me a lot of hope for this area. Very good, Joe, yeah. thank you so much. Congratulations on the business. It's beautiful in here. It smells great in here, as you can imagine. And the progress we're seeing here in Niagara Falls is actually extending, Ashley, well beyond Third Street. Coming up at six, our Believe in Buffalo coverage will continue. We'll examine how $57 million in federal funding is going to be put into this community to really raise that level of civic pride. We're also gonna get a first-hand look at how the mayor is aiming to turn the falls into a year-round entertainment option and why he says this development is so critical to the city's future. So, a lot of exciting things on the horizon here in Niagara Falls. We'll touch on more on them coming up at six, but for now, let's send it back to Ashley in the studio. A lot of work to do, a lot of enthusiasm. Thank you, 